Imagine a vast desert landscape suddenly interrupted by a ribbon of water teeming with life. This is the Nile, the lifeblood of ancient Egypt. In the northeastern corner of Africa, a civilization rose from the sands, taming the harsh environment and etching its story into history. This was ancient Egypt, a civilization that spanned over 3,000 years, from around 3100 BC to the fall of the last pharaoh, Cleopatra, in 30 BC. At its heart flowed a river, a river like no other. The Nile, the longest river in the world, stretched over 4,000 miles, its waters flowing northward from the highlands of East Africa through the Sahara to the Mediterranean Sea. But what set the Nile apart was not its length, but its role in shaping a civilization. For the ancient Egyptians, the Nile was more than a river. It was a lifeline. It was a god. It was the pulse of a civilization that would leave an indelible mark on the world. In a land dominated by arid desert, the Nile was a lifeline, a verdant strip of land on either side of the river, the Nile Valley was a haven of fertility. Here the ancient Egyptians grew their crops, built their cities, and buried their dead. The contrast was stark, a ribbon of green surrounded by a sea of sand, life flourishing amid sterility. The Nile was not just a provider, but also a pathfinder. It was the highway that connected Upper Egypt in the south with its rocky cliffs and ancient tombs to Lower Egypt in the north with its fertile delta and bustling cities. It was the artery that pumped life into the heart of ancient Egypt, a constant reliable presence that dictated the rhythms of daily life and the cycles of the seasons. Thus begins the tale of the Nile, a tale intertwined with the rise and fall of one of the world's most intriguing civilizations. What was it about the Nile that made it so pivotal to ancient Egypt? It was, in the words of the Greek historian Herodotus, the gift of the Nile. Let's delve into the heart of this gift, the annual flooding of the Nile, a natural phenomenon that was as reliable as the sunrise. This predictable inundation was nothing short of a miracle for the ancient Egyptians. The floodwaters, carrying rich, fertile silt from the heart of Africa, spread across the plains, replenishing the soil and transforming the arid landscape into a verdant paradise. With this rich black silt, the Egyptians found the perfect canvas for agriculture. They cultivated wheat, flax and papyrus, harnessing the bounty of the Nile to sustain and grow their population. It was this life-giving soil that allowed them to develop surplus, a key factor in the rise of complex societies. Imagine, if you will, the scene of ancient farmers hunched over in the fields under the scorching sun, their sweat mixing with the fertile mud of the Nile. They are not merely tilling the soil, they are shaping the very foundations of one of the world's earliest and greatest civilizations. The Nile's predictability allowed the Egyptians not just to survive, but to thrive. They developed a calendar based on the river's cycles, and by predicting the floods, they could plan their planting and harvesting around it. This understanding of the river's rhythms led to advancements in technology and the establishment of a stable economy. But the Nile was not merely a source of physical sustenance. It was, in every sense, a life force, a deity to be revered and worshipped. It was the heart of their spiritual beliefs, the wellspring of their mythology, and the inspiration for their awe-inspiring architecture and art. The Nile, then, was not just a river, but the very foundation upon which the grand edifice of ancient Egypt was built. The river's gift was not just water, but civilization itself, a testament to the power and the potential that lay in the harnessing of nature's bounty. Beyond its agricultural bounty, the Nile served as the superhighway of ancient Egypt. This mighty river was not just a source of life, but also a path that carved its way through the desert, the heartline of a civilization. The Nile, flowing from the south to the north, was a natural transportation route. It was the lifeblood of Egypt, a highway that moved people, goods and ideas. Imagine, if you will, the hundreds of boats that would have dotted its expanse, carrying everything from grain and gold to stone and stories. Trade was the lifeblood of any ancient society, and Egypt was no different. The Nile played a pivotal role in this, 
providing a route for the exchange of goods. Boats laden with wheat from the fertile fields of the Delta would make their way to the markets of Upper Egypt, while those from the south would carry gold and precious stones. The river was a bustling marketplace, a conduit for economic prosperity. But it wasn't just trade that the Nile facilitated. Communication, too, was carried along its waters. Messages from the pharaoh would be dispatched up and down the river, ensuring the kingdom's orders were heard far and wide. It connected cities, towns and people, knitting together the fabric of the ancient civilization. Moreover, the Nile was also a strategic military route. Expeditions would set sail from its banks, venturing into unknown territories, defending the kingdom's borders or sometimes expanding them. The Nile was a witness to countless tales of valour and victory, of ancient Egypt's might and majesty. The river's significance was such that it fostered the development of remarkable navigation skills and the construction of advanced boats. From simple reed rafts to grand royal barges, the evolution of Egyptian naval technology is a testament to the Nile's importance. In the vast desert of Egypt, the Nile was the bustling highway the conduit that connected a civilization. It was more than just a river. It was the artery of life, the road of a nation, the highway of a people's history. The Nile was not just a physical entity to the ancient Egyptians. It was a spiritual river, an integral part of their religious beliefs. This mighty river wasn't simply seen as a water source, but rather a divine entity, a God that breathed life into the land and its people. The Nile was personified as the god Hapi, the lord of the fishes and birds of the marshes, symbolizing fertility and life. Hapi was revered and worshipped. His blessings sought to ensure the river's annual flooding, bringing with it the rich, fertile soil that sustained the kingdom. The river's cyclical flooding echoed the cycle of life and death, a rhythm deeply ingrained in the spirituality of ancient Egypt. This natural phenomenon became a divine event in their eyes, a testament to their God's grace and benevolence. The river was the stage for numerous myths and rituals, its banks hosting ceremonies that paid homage to its sacred attributes. One such tale was the myth of Osiris, the god of the afterlife, the underworld and rebirth. His body, torn into pieces by his brother Seth, was said to have been scattered across the Nile, making the river a symbol of rebirth and eternal life. This tale was central to the ancient Egyptians' belief in the afterlife, further elevating the Nile's spiritual significance. The river was also a sacred pathway, a celestial river that mirrored the Milky Way, guiding the pharaohs to the afterlife. The importance of this belief was reflected in the construction of the royal tombs and pyramids, aligning them with the river, the celestial bodies and the cardinal points, a testament to the Nile's role as a spiritual guide. The Nile was more than a river. It was a deity, a provider, a life giver, a spiritual guide and a pathway to the afterlife. It was the heartbeat of the civilization pulsating with the rhythms of daily life and the cycles of the seasons. To the ancient Egyptians, the Nile was a divine gift, a river of life and death, a deity to be revered and appeased. The Nile, with its gifts of fertility, transportation and spiritual significance, left a lasting legacy on ancient Egypt. The Nile River's influence on ancient Egypt was far-reaching, colouring every aspect of life and shaping a civilization that stands as a marvel of human history. Its life-giving waters were the canvas upon which the Egyptians painted their culture, their art, their science and their architecture. In art, the Nile was a muse, its winding path, teeming wildlife and fertile banks inspiring countless works of art. It was the backdrop of many tales, with its gods and goddesses playing pivotal roles in Egyptian mythology. The river's annual flooding, a symbol of rebirth, was immortalized in many artistic forms, from sculpture to hieroglyphics. The Nile's importance was also evident in architecture. The river's mud was used to create the bricks for buildings, while its stones were quarried for monuments and temples. The alignment of these structures often followed the river's path, showing how the Nile guided the Egyptians, not just in their daily lives, but also in their monumental endeavors. 
In the realm of science, the Nile was a natural laboratory. The river's predictable cycles led to the development of one of the world's first calendars. Its fauna and flora were subjects of study, leading to advancements in botany and zoology. The need to manage its waters resulted in groundbreaking engineering feats, such as the construction of dams and canals. Culturally, the Nile shaped the Egyptians' worldview. It shaped their social structures, with those living along its banks forming the backbone of Egyptian society. It influenced their religious beliefs, with the river itself being revered as a deity. Today, the Nile continues to hold a central place in Egyptian life, its waters still nurturing the land and its people. The river's legacy lives on, not just in the monuments and artefacts that dot its banks, but also in the hearts and minds of the Egyptians who continue to draw inspiration from its timeless allure. From the dawn of civilization to the present day, the Nile remains the lifeblood of Egypt, a testament to its timeless allure and enduring legacy.